Hello guys, welcome to this episode. <laughs> Swahili we say kipindi, kipindi. Karibu familia. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mm. If you have been following the Ubat Angel story, <laughs> you will realize that when God wants to rule you, when your sins want to catch up with you, they will catch up with you fast. You remember his spiritual son, Bushiri, how he ran away Escaped South Africa. I wonder where Ubat Angel will run to. So Ubat Angel was docked and exposed in a four-part documentary by Al Jazeera. They brought two, a remaining two. So in the documentary, he was talking anyhow. Oh me. The go I uh, can see the, the president. I'm, I'm like a second in command. Anything I say, the president does. Now, the Zimbabwean government have thrown Ubat under the bus. <laughs> under the bus. First, the music alone. First, the music is time for jail. Before I guess I give you the like, give you the share, give you the thumbs up without wasting much of your time. Let's get into it. So watch this video. Shout out to AM7 TV. New evidences. The Zimbabwe minister coming out to tell you about danger that mm, you will face the music. They basically just removed themselves. So watch when you come back. Any person found to have engaged in acts of corruption, fraud, or any form of crime will face the full wrath of the law. The words of the Minister of Information was direct and straight to the point. Monica Mutonga said government takes seriously the allegations raised in the first two installments of the four-part documentary series that has come to be known as the Gold Mafia by Al Jazeera, in which some top government officials of the Nangagwa administration were implicated. Prominent amongst them was cleric. But Angel who was allegedly fingered in the documentary to be part of a syndicate of money laundering. ...being serialized by an international broadcasting channel which purports to expose a network of alleged money laundering and gold smuggling in Zimbabwe. Mm. Government takes the allegations which are raised in this documentary seriously and has directed relevant organs to institute investigations into the issues raised therein. Monica Mutonga told the media arrogant behavior of some elements in the documentary will never be taken as part of government's policy. Boastful behavior and name dropping by some personalities featured in the documentary seeking personal gain and glory Meanwhile, a new proof emerging in the UK business directory shows that British born pastor Ricky Dolan, the personal assistant of Ibad Angel, registered two companies in 2018 to further the mafia venture. The first company, known as Reputation Mafia Limited, appears to be active to date, whilst the second, Farming Zimbabwe Limited, which was incorporated in 2021, was dissolved. Two months ago in February 2023, all these companies were registered in the UK. It is unclear, however, what could have been the main motive for the dissolution of the reputation mafia just two months ago. What they are doing now is to remove themselves from this e equation. Where Ubat Angel is in trouble is that he will face this music alone. Because number one, what he's doing. There is a sanction on Zimbabwe and is helping the government to bypass that sanction by laundering money, millions and millions of dollars into the country. 
So number one, the U.S. will be out for him. Once the U.S. is out for him, the U.K. is out for him. Plus other shady, shady investments he had done in the U.K. before. You remember the bank? You remember all those things him and his wife, Bibi, they did? Mm. Now, what the Zimbabwe government is doing is trying to save face. You see what they are doing now? Typical African government behavior. Now that the matter has cast, they want a scapegoat. So now, hear what she's saying. Oh, people that are bragging, that are bragging that they can do this. The government, the government has basically dissociated itself from Ubat Angel. Ubat is in serious trouble. Though. Because by the time they start with him, now that they've, they've, his PA, that Ricky guy, they started opening file for him. All the companies he registered to launder money. Hmm. I wonder where Ubat Angel will run to. I'm sure he's planning his great escape from UK, like his son, Bushiri. Don't come to Nigeria. Don't come. Don't near here. If you want to run, look for one African country. Toronto. But they will give you up. You understand? Now, my brother. All the pride. They say pride goes before a big fall. The pride. Now, they never leave you behind. They have left you behind. Now road to go to a Kennedy. Where do you start from, Ubat Angel? Because you were bragging the other day that every time you have a tribulation because you are innocent, God will bring you out. We are waiting. We are waiting now because your government has thrown you under the bus. By the time the UK starts with you, you will wish li life will tire you. This same his, his PA is a complete criminal. You remember the audio that that the phone call that Al Jazeera undercover detective had with him? Listen to it. Later, Doolan calls Miss Sin to discuss the undercover team's proposed meeting with President Manangagwa. Right now, the president is completely busy, but it can be made to happen because his time is so valuable. You guys are gonna to have to pay a facilitation fee so that we can facilitate the meeting. It's the only way that it will work. The facilitation fee will be $200,000. Okay, Ricky, just so I am clear, is that a donation, right? 200,000? It's a facilitation fee. Okay. And uh, this will confirm the meeting? Correct. And this meeting is definitely with... It will be with the number one, the president. You can hear him. Boastful. He is part of the criminal mafia. He is a major cog. So by the time they grab him, they grab Ubat, they prosecute them too. Jail, Abiala. My brother, please don't drop the soap in prison because something will enter you from behind. Prophetic monster. Prophets. You did not see all of this. So. You did not, your eye, your prophetic eye did not see all of this. But if to see tomato inside people's fridge, you will see that one. You are in trouble. You don't know the trouble you have put yourself. You don't know. Only... I will say God will save you, but you have already insulted God with all your acts. So God has removed his hands from you. God is far away from you. And this is a warning to all the other charlatans. You might be getting away with everything you are doing. Imp intimidating people with police. Threatening people. One day, your time will come. One day, one day, your time will come. And when it comes, you will wish you are not alive. Continue. Continue what you are doing. You think because you have bribed the police force, you can intimidate people anyhow. No problem. One day, your time will come too. Thank you guys for watching this episode. Don't forget to follow me on Sky and Laugh Me Up. Follow book on Sky and Joe Show. Comment down. Follow us on our social media and just Don't forget guys, question everything because number is one.